Okay, guys. So today we will perform experiment on Dmux IC, Mux and Dmux IC. Okay. Or uh, you can say seven four one five three. This is the number of Mux IC. Seven four one three nine is the number of Dmux. You can perform same experiment. I mean, in one form you can use uh, half header or full header implementation of uh, on Mux IC, and you can again Dmux it, or you can say decode it. Okay. So First of all, we will right now we will not perform on this. Okay, we will perform on this seven four one five three. And what we will do, we will see how to develop a full adder using seven four one five three IC. Okay, this is the max IC. You can see I can uh, use this max IC four is to one max IC is given. You can see there are four inputs zero, I zero, I one, I two, I three. Okay, one enable is there. Just to enable it, uh, you know it's important in our last experiment. You have seen what is enabled, and two select lines are there, S1 and S0. You can see the pin, S1 and S0 select line is there. One output YA, okay, this output, and we have two 4 is to 1 mux inside this one IC. This is first 4 is to 1 mux, and this one is second 4 is to 1 mux. You can see. This is I zero, I one, I two, I three. This is second four is to one mux. Okay, but the select lines for both the mux is same S one and S zero, and the output is different. This is Y A, and you can see this is Y B, and enable is also different. This is E A, and this is E B. Okay, so this is the configuration of seven four one five three, and V C C and ground. V C C ground is the common thing. Okay, so this is the configuration of seven four one three. How we will construct a full adder or half adder on this? Means this is simply a mux. So first we have to analyze, do the analysis, and we have to take the output and check the output. Okay. So uh, first of all, we will see half adder. You can see I have developed a half adder. You can see this is the input A B, and uh, this is sum, and this is carry. You can see, and it is implemented like this. This is also two four is to one mux. With the common select lines S1 and S2, you can see this, and uh, yeah, both the select lines are common for both of the mux, and this two output is there, and this AB is the select line going for S1 and S2. It will be a black S1 and S2. Okay, so this is how we will implement half adder, but uh, I am not going to implement this one. I am going to implement this full adder. Okay, and uh, this is the circuit diagram of full adder. You can see the input B will be the input. Okay, and here it is zero. And uh, select lines are B and C. Okay, uh, we will see how we have derived this. I think in your theory classes you have derived this one. Okay, you can see here that. Uh, I will let you zoom in. Okay, I will zoom in. Okay, so you can see here this is how we perform the calculation analysis part. So this one uh, we can see in our truth table. My for sum my output one is on. One position, two position, four position, and seventh position. That we will place here. If you know the K map. This is just the K map. C, A, B, and we will see U C for the input for providing the input. So this will become C dash because this one is this is zero, and this is one. One will be C. Okay, we will write it as C. And here A B as it is zero 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 one. Okay. So first we will see we have one output. This one, this one output on. First position, so this is our first position. This is one, and on second position also this is one, and then again on seventh position it is one, and on fourth position it is one. From truth table we can use this, and when we will solve this one by marking, we can see in both these blocks this C one is C, so my final output will be C. In both these word block you will see C dash, okay, so my final output will be C dash. In both this block, you will see C as the one, so final output will be C, and like same, it is C dash. So what will happen now? This one is I three. You can see this one is I three. This is I two. This is I one, and this is I zero. Okay, I one, I two, I three, I yeah, I zero, I one, I two, I three. Okay, and uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, I think this one, this one will become I three. This is wrong. This one will become I three, and this one will become I two. Okay. So I one and I two will be on C dash input will be C dash and I zero and I three will be on C. This is what connected here. You can see for sum I am getting sum as the output. 
I zero and I three is one from C. Okay, you can see here I zero and I three. I three is this one. This is wrong. I'm telling you again. This is not I three. This is I two, and this one is I three. Okay, sorry for mistake. So I zero and I three will be C as it is connected. I zero and I three is C, and I one and I two is C dash. Okay, this is one inverter. Okay, not here. And uh, what about C output? We will solve again for C also. I mean carry also. What will happen when you will see the truth table? Carry. This is the carry truth table. What? Uh, this is my multisim. You can see. Now I am going to connect the circuit. Now for that we need seven four one five three IC. Going to use this one component. You can search it here. I have already searched it. It is available. Seven four one five three. Then place it here. Now what we need, we need switch from which we will provide our input. Switch name is SPDT. We need three switches because we have to provide one input and two select lines will be there. Okay, two select lines will be there. That's why we need three switches. Next thing, what we need, we need one NOT gate. Next thing, what we need, we need VCC and ground. VCC, okay, connect it here. Okay, and ground will be there. Okay, ground. Okay. Again, what we need, we need uh, output LED. Okay, one will be at this side, and again will be on this side. Okay, or one for some and one for. So done. Nothing else. We don't need anything else. So you can see the pin configuration here. This is our second input. Uh, sorry, this is our first input, and this is our second input. You can see one three zero, one three one, one three two, one three three, and two C zero, two C one. Whatever you want to use, you can use this one as a first or this one as a first. That's your choice. So our select line is this one A B. Okay. This one G and two G. This is enable. For both of the four is to one mark, and this is the output. Okay. So what we will do? First, we will connect the this this mark for our sum as the output. So what is the connection of this mark? You can see. And this one is uh, C1 and C2. Okay. This five and four number pin, which will be connected to not gate. Okay. Now we So this both of them are connected with not gate, and this six and three is connected to directly to C. So how we will do C? Just uh, how we will do C? From here we will connect one. Make it as uh, what can I say? C. Okay. This one is. Uh, this one make it as C. Okay. And the uh, one is make it as C. Okay. This is C. Make this one as uh, A. Okay. Okay. This is A. And this one is. So 
so I have to connect S two with six and three first. So what I will do, I will take this log and I will connect my six. Okay, I have to connect this with six also. Okay, and I have to connect this. Okay, done. Now what we need, we have to connect this second one also. How we will do that? I will connect it uh, from here only, and first we'll check the output. Okay. And uh, what is the connection here? Coming from C directly. Okay, so this is I zero and or sorry I one and I two. I one. Done. Now I zero is on zero, so zero we can check it for. And uh, this one is coming from dot eight, I three. I three, and I will connect this to the. Okay, so this is done. Now we need select lines. Select lines will be connected to here. And first one will be like this, A, and second one will be like this, B. This enable will go to one only. Uh, sorry, zero only. This both are connected to zero. Only. You can see this is zero. That's it. This both will become one. So connection is completed. Uh, we have to connect this one. We have to connect this one. We will place one back here. Carry and next case will be here. This is for sum. Okay. Sum and carry. And uh, what else? Nothing else. Right now, my select lines are on like zero zero, and C is also zero. So you can see that if these three are in zero, then sum will be zero and carry will be zero. So I will run the simulation. Nothing here. Both are on zero. All these three are on zero. What will happen when we will give this T as one? Then my sum will be one and carry will be zero. So I will give this T as one. You can see my sum is on one position and carry is on zero position. And uh, now we'll check uh, this one. Zero one two three three. Zero one one means A is on zero. B and C both are on one. What will happen? My sum will be zero and carry will be one. So B and C both are on one. So I can see. Yeah, I'm getting correct output. Sum is on zero. C is on one. This is correct, guys. This is correct. I think there are some problem with uh, our calculation. You have to check it, uh, solve it before implying the circuit. Solve it, and I know this is correct because this is work rule. Okay. okay. So our circuit is also correct. No problem with our circuit. And I will check the last output. One, one, one. All three are on one. Sorry, this is already on one. A is on one, and B is on one. You can see sum and carry both are one, as it is in our two times. So this is how we implement full ladder using MAC. Okay, seven four one five three IC. What you have to do, you have to implement full subtractor using MAC. Okay. Full subtractor using MAC. This thing you have to do it by your own, and you have to write it in your Lab report you have to include it in your lab report with the screenshot of circuit and output. Okay, everything. So this is your seventh number experiment. Perform this experiment and submit the lab report. Okay, so that's all for today, guys. See you in next class.